On the afternoon of 18 June 2018, news broke out that XXX Tentacion had been shot dead. The hip hop world was shaken. At first, it seemed like a robbery, but on closer inspection, suspicions began to grow that it may have been a hit. Was X assassinated? As a standard in the rap scene, the first suspects are often those who had beef with the rapper. Barely three months before the assassination, the hip hop superstar had predicted his death and named his killer. Enter Aubrey Drake Graham, professionally known as Drake. Although the courts did not actively pursue Drake as a person of interest in the murder of X, the court of public opinion had already made a ruling. Drake was guilty. So how exactly was Drake involved in XXX Tentacion's murder? XXX and Drake B. In January 2017, X was serving time on charges of domestic battery, aggravated assault of a pregnant woman, and false imprisonment. While he was behind bars, Drake was at a concert in Amsterdam, premiering a new record, KMT, in which he featured UK rapper Giggs. After listening to the snippet played, fans noticed something odd with Drake's flow. For many, it seemed familiar. For X's fans, the flow was immediately recognizable. There was a striking resemblance with X's song, Look At Me. Diehard X fans know that Look At Me was his greatest hit at the time. The record introduced X to the world. The rapper initially uploaded the song to SoundCloud in 2015. However, it became popular in 2017 as it peaked at number 34 on the US Billboard Hot 100. Since the song was already popular in the rap scene, fans were quick to point out the similarities between KMT and Look At Me. This sparked a fiery debate on Twitter. Had Drake used X's flow in his new song? The story got juicier as it was revealed that Drake had started following X on social media earlier that month, meaning he was familiar with the Florida rapper. Granted, Drake had mentioned that he was trying to get new styles to get out of his comfort zone. Apart from that, even if he had used X's flow, there wasn't anything wrong with what he'd done. One thing about Drake is that he's notoriously known to borrow from up and coming artists. Rap lovers were on the fence with this one. While some strongly believed that it was X's flow, some thought it was just a rhythm that was now being widely used by the new generation. However, X saw this as a golden opportunity for clout. Very few rappers can think of starting trouble with Drake. X was among the few. Beefing with one of hip hop's finest rappers was a sure way to get people talking about him. Remember, any publicity is good publicity. The rapper would go on to milk this opportunity dry. He commented on the controversy through a tweet. Using his manager, X sent out a tweet acknowledging the similarities that his fans had noticed. Social media was ablaze. He loved the attention. This opened the door to the beef between him and Drake, and he was not about to waste this opportunity. Interestingly, fans also mentioned Lil Uzi Vert as an inspiration for Drake's new flow. However, Lil Uzi was not sucked into the frenzy and decided to keep to himself. The following month, X continued to ride the wave created by the controversy. While still behind bars, the rapper commented on the issue of Drake biting his flow in an interview with XXL. X clarified that he was not angry with Drake for copying his style. However, he mentioned it would be nice if the OVO boss had acknowledged him. He could have reached out to me personally and spoken to me, and it definitely would have been more respectable. But he dropped the preview and it sounded a bit like, look at me, and he could be a huge, huge help in this situation to get me out of jail because I'm facing life. So that's just how I feel, he told the magazine. This did not get people talking enough. X had to think of something that would get everybody's attention. It's important to remember he was behind bars, therefore anything he could do to remain relevant would be highly welcome. The hip hop star decided to take the beef to a new level. Later that same month, X made the headlines while still in the slammer. The hip hop blogs were on fire following X's latest stunt. Using Twitter as his weapon of choice, the rap star unleashed a tirade of tweets insulting Drake. Fans could not believe it. What started as a harmless observation by hip hop fans had turned into public insults. Although the rapper's rant on Twitter started with, I'm not gonna say no names, everyone knew who X was taking shots at. He kicked off the tirade with, I'm not gonna say no names, names, but it's funny how one of my is hit me up saying, Drake watched your interview and f***s with you. He followed it up by tweeting, now this f trying to play it safe and play it innocent, but it's cool. We all know Hotline Bling was a bite of cha-cha. The second tweet was a direct response to Drake's interview a few hours earlier. Speaking to DJ Simtex on OVO Sound Radio, Drake responded to the controversy by saying that after listening to both X's records, he could see why people would say he bit X's flow. I listened to Look At Me, and I'm like, okay, I see where people could draw the comparison off the first two lines, whether it be cadence or a rhyme pattern or whatever. It's crazy that people think that after all this time, after all I've been through, that I'm the type of person to go and take that and make it my own. I'm not stupid. I'm not a person like that. Drake had a point. He was way too rich, famous, and successful to copy up and coming rappers. However, the music industry has been rocked by similar cases for ages, so fans would not be surprised if Drake had copied X's style. For example, in 2016, Robin Thicke and Pharrell Williams were taken to court for copying Marvin Gaye's 1977 single, Gotta Give It Up. 
to create their 2013 record Blurred Lines alongside rapper T.I. The late musician's family demanded compensation for the infringement. Although Thicke admitted drawing inspiration from Gay's single, the singers were forced to pay the family $7.4 million and 50% of all royalties. While the Drake and XXX case is not similar, it shows that the music industry is no stranger to such cases. Although Drake had clarified his position on the issue and even said that he liked X's music, X was having none of it. As seen in his next tweet, he was out for blood as he wrote, I'm not the first he bit, nor will I be the last. Drake a b Money don't buy you respect. According to the Florida-born rapper, Drake was well aware of what he was doing. X implied that Drake had a habit of copying other rappers' styles, and since no one ever called him out, he would do it again. X's manager, No Jumper podcast host Adam22, alleged that Drake contacted DJ Carnage a week before debuting the record that set off the beef with X. In the interview, Adam22 revealed that Drake had told DJ Carnage that he was a fan of X's song Look At Me, which added to the speculation that Drake knowingly stole X's flow. When asked directly whether he believed that Drake knowingly stole X's flow, Adam replied, I'm open to both scenarios. X was not done ripping into Drake. In his next week, he said, Drake's career is almost over. He better start investing money in the real estate because once it's all over he really gonna see the fake love he may have been wrong on that since drake is still among the most sought after rappers in the game five years later x had created a buzz on twitter people were talking so he went on i'm not gonna twitter rap for stealing my flow i slap don't come to florida to end the rant x tweeted it's funny how the industry let this sit at the top for so long all y'all suck kill yourself done chat. The internet was on fire, and an upcoming artist with a meteoric rise in the game had just called out one of hip-hop's finest, and in the most disrespectful way possible. The stage was set, old school versus new school. Would Drake respond? But at this time, Drake was in the middle of another beef, this time with fellow rapper Pusha T. The following month, X was released from prison, and it did not take him long to stir the pot. Writing on controversy may have been a brilliant idea because he received radio interview invitations shortly after his release. On the 29th of March, X sat down with a Miami radio station 103.5 The Beat, and the conversation eventually turned to Drake. The hip-hop world held his breath as X started to answer. They were certainly not disappointed. He's not a man, says X. I think he's a bitch. That's a bitch move. Especially when I was in jail facing life. You know what I'm saying? If Drake would have come to my bond hearing, you know what I'm saying? That would have made my fucking day. X made it clear that he did not like Drake or respect him as a man. Despite making his feelings towards Drizzy known, he still showed love towards his craft and impressive career saying, Drake a genius. Despite me disrespecting him as a man, cause I can't respect him as a man. I respect that nigga career. Corporately, that is the GOAT. Drake was yet to respond to all this. Many believed it was a matter of time before Drake came out guns blazing. Others thought X was not on the Canadian rapper's level and was not worth his time and energy. In another interview on The Breakfast Club, the rapper continued his uncensored rants about Drake where he branded his fellow rapper a for taking his shit. If he would have shown he was a hospitable person and that he's really in this shit for the culture rather than being a taking my shit, running off with it and putting it on his albums, then he would have got my kudos. He would have got my respect. I would have let him drop the remix, take 100% of the royalty rate. I would have done it. If anyone thought that X would slow down and wait for Drake's response, they were wrong. Just hours after the Breakfast Club interview, X brought Drake's mom into the fold. At this rate, anyone could see that he was no longer trying to get Drake's attention. He wanted him to react. Drake mom kind of cute. She could get it. The daring SoundCloud rapper tweeted, the hip hop world could not ignore this as it lit up the internet. Drake's fans thought that after seeing the tweet sexualizing his mother, Drake would have no choice but to respond. During this time, Drake was finished his European tour and had just dropped his mixtape, More Life. Occupied with other stuff, fans patiently waited for his response. For the most part, fans expressed their disapproval of the 20-year-old rapper bringing family into the beef and sexualizing an elderly woman. Many believe the disrespect should have been kept between the two rappers and shouldn't have spilled over to innocent bystanders. Others believe that X was just trying to create a buzz and remain relevant as he worked on new projects to follow up on the success of Look At Me. The aggressive pastoring is one way to achieve this, and he was doing a fine job. X is strategy strategy was working perfectly as hip-hop artist blogs and magazines could not get enough of him. The discussion even turned into whether Drake had stolen X's flow or was he just looking for relevance. Popular magazine Hot New Hip Hop wrote, the rapping styles on the respective tracks in question are indeed similar, though it's not as though the flow supposedly coined by X. A sped up take on the triplet flow exists in a vacuum. In fact, all the slight variations on the same
boom stop start way of rapping combined to make this type of flow the most common approach in today's scene some readily available names that have proliferated this style include Lil Uzi Vert, Migos, and before some of these guys could walk, Lord Infamous and 3-6 Mafia. Joe Budden and DJ Academics also jumped in on the beef and discussed it in their show, Everyday Struggle. The two seemed to back X, with Budden saying, We've heard that story from different acts for the last five years. Drake will 100% listen to something and jack the flow. That's a lie. Stop lying to me. DJ Academics agreed with Budden, saying, Listen, I was born at night just not last night. If you listen to those two songs, Drake, you heard this shit before. You took the flow. Rapper Offset from Migos also weighed in on the controversy and offered his opinion on the biting accusations. Right off the bat, it was clear that Offset was siding with Drake. That was no surprise to rap fans since Drake was a close friend of the Migos and had released records together, such as a remix to the hit single Versace. Quavo, also from the group, had also appeared on Portland, a track from Drake's new mixtape More Life. Therefore, Offset's reply did not surprise anyone. Y'all silly. How you ain't heard of talking like you stole they swag. We ain't even heard of you. Get your ass out of jail and run that shit up. Whatever your name is, Offset said on an Instagram video. This opened a whole new can of worms. It sparked a beef ending in a brawl and a gun being pulled out. X will respond to Offset the following month, although in a different context. Offset had just dissed rappers Lil Uzi Vert and Saw Baby for sporting upside down crosses, a symbol generally associated with the occult, saying, All y'all niggas wearing upside down crosses, even my little partners. Stop that sh you look lame. All that worship the devil sh get with God, man. X jumped in, I don't respect no nigga that don't want to see a young nigga prosper, X said. That sh you supposed to want to help the new generation. Tell this p nigga Offset to get off and the f you on that young for it. Always on somebody. Shut your ass up, like 35, still trying to catch the wave. Your career over. Months later, X claimed that he was jumped by Migos while in Los Angeles. According to X, the trio took him on three on one and even pulled a gun on him. Afterwards, X shared a video where he showed off his bruises and insult to Quavo, take off, and especially offset. Them niggas fired on me, my girl and my So if you see anything, just know they had fire and they pulled a gun on me. After all the shit I've been talking, how the fuck you ain't shooting, X asked. He, Offset, was scared to fight me one on one. These niggas were scared to fight me. Y'all niggas are like 35. I ain't mad because I got 35 year olds afraid to fight me. In another series of Snapchat posts, he said they jumped me. Nobody gave me the respect of a one on one. I'm just letting y'all know for now that I'm a man before anything. And I'm gonna take my ass beating like a man, nigga. And I'm gonna carry myself like a man. This shit don't affect me. And you niggas gonna lose money with me. Quavo, Offset that good what's it called lift off lift off all y'all the rapper went on to say that he would use the incident as promotion migos just gave me free clout he ranted before all this x still went after drake on his social media in a video x questioned drake's originality rapping ability and vocal chops he even proposed a wager if drake can do a whole f***ing album or even two to three f***ing songs originally that does not sound like anyone else's cadence or does not have a f***ing sample and just sounds like him originally he'll get my kudos X did not stop there. I'll run around the street butt ass naked. I'll tattoo Drake's name on my ass cheek if he can be original for two seconds or out rap me. X was now going after Drake's crab, which he earlier stated he respected. Rap fans thought the threat of public nudity and ass tattoos would be the catalyst that would bring Drake into the fold. Still, he remained quiet. Sooner or later, more rappers were bound to join the beef just like Offset had done. While some may have termed it riding the wave, this rapper declared that Drake had given him a go ahead to deal with X. 600 Breezy, a drill rapper and notorious Chirac soldier, was soon involved in the beef between X and Drake. Having been part of Drake's More Life mixtape, the rapper came to Drake's defense. While addressing the beef via social media recording that DJ Academics reshared, Breezy advises X to focus more on his music career. He even praised X saying he got a good ass fan base, especially where he from. They riot for that man. At the time, Breezy was confined to his home state because of legal issues. However, the rapper revealed that he'd soon have his freedom to travel, at which point he'd be prepared for an encounter with X. Breezy also confirmed that Drake had already given him permission to confront X. Anytime I ask my homie Drake, can I get on somebody? He always says no, said Breezy, about his past attempts to ask Drake to let him handle his dirty work. In X's case, Drake allegedly had a different response, and this time, he just gave me a shrug like, it's whatever, cause he tweaking. That's all I need, said Breezy. Everyone knew X would respond. On some street I'm not gonna talk to you. I'll leave that to the posted X online. He also insulted him, saying, listen bro, I got a couple niggas that will knock you off in your own city. In your own city. Tell these niggas to keep my name out their mouth unless they want my dick in it too. 
Despite all this, Drake never responded. However, one Instagram post changed everything. In 2018, X posted, if anyone kills me, it was at Champagne Poppy. I'm snitching. Although he later deleted the post and claimed that his account had been hacked. The damage was already done. Three months later, X was shot dead. Court case. With the main suspects behind X's murder standing trial, Mauricio Padilla, a defense attorney for one of the suspects, attempted to subpoena Drake for a deposition. The lawyer referenced X's infamous Instagram tweet, claiming Drake would take his life. He claimed that the authorities did not investigate this lead, noting that hip hop was notorious for beefs that often escalated to murder. The lawyer asked the court, do you think any detective ever asked Drake or anybody like that? No. They never did that. Mauricio Padilla alleged that Drake had close ties to several people with gang affiliations. One such individual was Hassan Ali. On a popular podcast hosted by DJ Academics, Hassan Ali claimed he was Drake's shooter. The lawyer also pointed to Drake's lyrics after X's death, which seemed to refer to the late rapper. In one such song, Drake sings, I never put no prices on the beef until we end this sh I pay half a million for a soul, he my nemesis. In another song, Drake sings, 50,000 on my head is disrespect, which fans believe rap reference X withdrawing $50,000 in cash before he was shot dead. Such lyrics infuriated X's fans, who according to them, believed that Drake had ordered a hit on the rapper, who constantly clowned him, but could not retaliate. But think about it, if Drake responded through a diss track, he would be seen as petty for beefing with an up and coming artist. But with their hero now dead, X's fan base believed that since he couldn't respond to X via a diss track, he ordered the hit. For Drake, it was a lose-lose situation. Drake's lawyers hit out at the allegations, saying, in a case such as this, it is both unreasonable and oppressive to subpoena an out-of-state party who has not been mentioned in any reports, any investigation or reference to have any involvement in this matter. Based on the evidence so far provided in this case, there is video that purports to show the defendants allegedly as participants in the murder of the victim. No evidence has been provided to substantiate the assertion that Graham in any way contributed to, had knowledge of, or participated in the alleged incident, and to mandate that he appear for deposition for something he very clearly has no relevant knowledge of is unreasonable. Drake may have dodged the bullet since one of the suspects, Robert Allen, agreed to confess to the murder for a lighter sentence. According to Allen, Drake did not pay them to carry out the murder. Another crucial piece of evidence was the confession of Tanel Carter, Dedrick Williams' former girlfriend. Williams was among those arrested in connection with the murder. She told the court Williams confessed to her that he orchestrated the robbery and murder. Apart from that, he had also attempted to have her write an affidavit, lying that he was not the driver of the murder vehicle. It was now clear that Drake was not involved in X's murder in any way. This prompted the judge to cancel the request deposition, meaning that Drake would no longer be asked to appear before the court. Although his name was cleared by the courts after Allen's confession, X's fans still believe he played a part in the rapper's death. It seems no amount of evidence will be enough for them to believe otherwise. It's funny to think that all this was started by hip hop fans on the internet. If you liked the video, be sure to click one of the boxes playing on your screen to watch more similar content.